Hello. We are here at in front of McDonald's with Victor Lim. Hi there. Good afternoon. Good to see you. I know that you've been here. You are the executive director, chair of the mall. I'm the chair for the First Street Mall Business Improvement District. And we formed this uh, oh, over 10, 12 years ago. And it's just, it's just a way of trying to see what we can do to make our area of downtown a little bit better. So how many businesses do you have in the, in the mall? Well, the First Street Mall Business District it actually incorporates at Nimitz Highway uh, all the way up to Baritania Street. So any property that's on the mall uh, is technically part of the First Street Mall uh, BID. Well, what about Union Mall? Is that part of you also? No, Union Mall is a separate entity. So the, our, our incorporation is just strictly here on 4th Street. Yes, yeah. yeah. So how many businesses do you have? Uh, on the mall? On the mall, uh, you got to count, actually count the buildings. Because, uh, you know, we have some buildings that have a lot of tenants inside there, like Pioneer Plaza, the uh, Bank of Hawaii building. They have a lot of multiple people that's, uh, that, that are on the tenant. Like my property is just small, it's only one. Then you have executive center, you get all these commercial properties here. They have multiple, multiple talents. But the membership is made up of each property owner. So now this building right across the street yes. here, that one is in all of the pictures of Old Fort Street. Yes. And it still looks like that. And, 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 and it's, a, it's a wonderful architecture that you know, all of these buildings, some of these buildings are over 100 years old. And in fact, if you go up and down, it's not only that building, but the Pantheon building actually uh, uh, is, is probably the same generation building, just like the building beside me, except the facade is different. So when it started, you, you've been here since the beginning. So when, what was it like before that? And what made you decide to, to come so, together? So what happens was that, if you got to remember, you go, you go back 15 years, uh, 16 years ago, uh, you know, downtown, like today, has a lot of challenges. We have challenges from uh, uh, vacancies in our buildings. We have challenges from homeless people. We have challenges from just any kind of things, you know, uh, uh, here. And so the, the property owners were very concerned that uh, there's so much vacancy and downtown has a very bad reputation of being uh, dirty and not safe. And so, so our, our primary objective of incorporating as a BID was really to, to try and change the trajectory and make it a cleaner, safer place for everybody. Because if it's safer and uh, uh, cleaner, then you're going to have merchants that's going to move in. Uh, consumers uh, that's going to come in and shop in the area. So that's that's what uh, the intent of what we did. So, and in the 15 years, you said 15 years? Yeah, about 15 years. So you've seen a difference? Oh yeah, so what we did was really, uh, you know, most of the cleaning and, and uh, security in all of downtown is the responsibility of the city. And, and uh, our role is not to let the city abdicate that responsibility. Our role is really to find a way to complement what the city is doing uh, with their limited resources and how we can plus up so that we can keep our mall cleaner, safer uh, uh, for everybody. So now my only request, and I do have a request, is that there are benches out here so that when I buy something in here, I can come out and sit down. Yeah, you know, you know, the, the, the whole downtown area uh, suffer from tremendous uh, challenges of having benches and things like that. As you know, the city has also passed a lot of some of the uh, sit and lie bills and things like that because there are a lot of people uh, that that use the use the benches uh, not really for uh, sitting but as a as a way of camping out. And so, you know, there's pluses and minuses and no matter what you try to do. I appreciate you and all the years of, that you've been here and knowing you 
it's been a real pleasure, and I'm glad to see what you're doing with Chinatown. Well, it's, 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 it's part of my uh, community service that we don't. This is where we work every day, and of course, we want to make it as clean and safe as possible for all everybody that comes to downtown.